Today, the Vice President of Hosni Mubarak came on TV and announced in a very short notice that Hosni Mubarak is stepping down and giving the ruling of Egypt to the Egyptian army. Ah, okay. Yes. The Vice President yes, the Vice President. came with him and he gave him Yes, he was already traveling. He left Egypt and the and then he to Shah Mishik and then the Vice President said that he left. Uh, at this very moment, this place was the happiest place on earth. For those who don't know what exactly happened and why it happened, I'm going to give you a brief notice about why it happened, when and where exactly did it take place, and how it happened, and what was that what happened there, and now what's the situation in Egypt. This is Hosni Mubarak, yeah. the former president of Egypt. And this, the guy with the weird clothes, is Muammar al Qazet, the former president of Libya. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is Hosni Mubarak and this is Gaddafi. Yeah. 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 These two guys, one of them, Hosni Mubarak, is now in jail, and one of them is killed by his own king. This is what dictators face when they oppress their people. Hosni Mubarak was ruling Egypt for 30 continuous years with no elections, with no democracy. And the corruption was everywhere in Egypt. Hosni Mubarak was the president of the National Democratic Party in Egypt. This was the party that was ruling Egypt, and he was trying to force, uh, to give the, the presidency of Egypt to his son after him. So the first reason for that, the first reason for the revolution is lack of democracy. The second and one of the main things is the police brutality. This is how police used to deal with Egyptians. Under, under the emergency law in Egypt, in Egypt we had something called the emergency law. This law is supposed to be enacted when there is when something like emergency is happening in Egypt, something like big crisis. This law allows the police to capture anyone without any reason for any duration with no trials. No this, this law is supposed to work maximally for six months, but during Hosni Mubarak, this law was working for 30 years. 30. During this whole period, during this whole period, during this whole this time. This is how police used to deal with Egyptians when they when they say no or when they criticize anything. Eh, quando la gente li criticava i poliziotti quando dicevano no, qualche cosa era così che li trattavano. This is this is one of the main reasons for the revolution. Questa è stata una delle principali ragioni per la rivoluzione. This guy is called Khalid Said. He was murdered in Alexandria. Alexandria is a city in the north. Yeah, you know Alexandria. He was murdered in Alexandria by the police. And after they killed him, they put a part of like marijuana in his mouth so that they are giving an excuse for killing him. And then they made bad repetition about him, that he escaped from the military service and he's an addict and he's a thief. What is not all this? Ah, okay. 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 
because I hate I, I, when I was in school I loved the bricks so if they I, know. <laughs> I, I know how they feel they hate me like that like boy that's a verse I love all I have a question. Uh, what he was doing? Why they kept him? Uh... For no reason. He, they, they went into a cyber cafe in Egypt and they, they, they told him, show us your ID. It's just like routine. They, they're showing the power. And he said, no, you don't have the right so he was... to ask for my ID. So they bit him to be killed. He was even not protesting in the street? No, no, no. Okay. Not at all. They just no, asked him to show you his ID. Yes. But ID and he said, no, you don't have the right. Then they killed him. And it is proved that yes, yes, no, 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 no. It's proved. he was killed in June 2010, six months before the revolution. Mm -hmm. Six months before. Yes. And now it's proved before the media was covering his death and said that he is actually escaped from the military ships and he's an addict and he deserved to die. But now we know the truth that this was One of the other reasons, this, this building is the building of the National Democratic Party. On the third day of the revolution, people showed how much they hated this party by, this, by burning it down. L'hanno buttato giù per dimostrare che era proprio il partito di Mubarak. Yes, yes, partito di Mubarak. Matti, Matti. This is one of the main reasons also of the revolution. This is a photocopy of one of the Egyptian daily newspapers. It says here, Egypt is strong and the UK has no money. The, the, the corruption in the media was very extensive and they were lying to the people lies that no one can believe. Like who would believe that Egypt is strong and Britain is weak and has no money? Ci avete capito? La rivoluzione è nata pure perché i mass media erano controllati pure dal partito e dicevano, cioè, disinformavano la gente e dicevano che l'Egitto era forte e il Regno Unito invece era debole. Just to promote for the Minister of Economic in Egypt. This, this newspaper is in uh, October 2010, two months before the revolution. Two months before. The last reason was poor social economic level and poverty in Egypt. But this was like the last reason, the democracy that said the politics. These are the reasons, the main reasons for the revolution. When and where? The revolution started on the 25th of January 2011. In Egypt, to some 25th of January is called the Day of the Police. The Day of the Police? Yes. It's, it's a day that the police celebrates their achievements during the year and all Egypt takes the day off. Ah, avete capito? Cioè, hanno scelto questo giorno, perché è il giorno di commemorazione della polizia, no? Come delle giorni. Di promozione della polizia. And also, the 25th of January was just 10 days after Ben Ali, the president of Tunisia, was kicked out from his country. So this was like... Do Ben Ali? So they, these guys were like an inspiration for us. We feared some other countries would react to you. Yes, but by the way, out of the line, I was here in uh, December 2009 in Italy and I participated in the yes. demonstrations against Berlusconi. The problem here is not just Berlusconi, yeah. it is the whole uh, political system. Yeah, I, I, I've known that. So, this is Alexandria. Not this like is in the sea. Egypt. But not and like in this Egypt. has never happened ever before that the sea was all occupied, the seashore is all occupied by Portas in January 2011. Is, is it, you can see it? Sì. Yeah. Yes, in 25th of January, this was how the streets of Egypt looked. This is Tahrir Square in Cairo. This place is the heart of Cairo. If this place stops, Egypt stops, literally. So it's like the whole street of Egypt. If you occupy Tahrir Square, Cairo will die. Not only in Egypt, this is the White House in Washington. Egyptians everywhere participated in the revolution by making demonstrations wherever they are. This is in Washington, and this is probably in Paris. And again, this is the heart of the revolution, Tahrir Square.
How? How did the revolution start? It's called that this is the electronic revolution or the internet revolution. Internet. It's said by the people who were there that we used Facebook to schedule our protests, Twitter to coordinate them, and YouTube to tell the world about our revolution. This is how we started it and this is how we ended it, through the internet. Okay, what exactly happened? This is a video of the first day of the 25th of January. The police started to block all the streets that are leading to Tahrir Square. I, I was shooting this video, we were going, Tahrir Square was supposed to be backwards and to the left. It was blocked, so we left it and we tried to take another road just to reach Tahrir Square. <laughs> We went on bridges and we went down and we, we did everything to be can to just reach Tahrir Square. Tahrir Square is the end of this street. People did not know each other, but they acted like friends. Like I don't Like people did not know me, but they came to me and thought, why, why, what, what brought you here? Why did you come? How did you come? What are you wanting to do here? The next video is a little bit low resolution, but it shows it, uh, I, because I brought it from YouTube, from the internet, but it shows a little bit what happened during this day. This was the first day of the revolution. All this, all, all the cars hitting the people, all the, the tear gas bombs, this was the first day of the revolution. Again, one last bit. If you have noticed, the policemen were shooting the tear gas bombs into the bodies of the people. Tear gas bombs are supposed to be shot in the air, but they were shooting like this. They were trying to kill the people, they were not trying to separate them. And you have noticed the guy who was speaking in the, in the first video, he was speaking in English, and he was speaking a good English. Why he is a poor, it seems from his school that he is a poor person and with, so, with low social economic level. But people are educated in Egypt, even if they are in social, low social economic level. People in the, the people in Egypt are most of them, the people live, who live in Cairo are educated and they are ready for democracy. Hosni Mubarak and his regime was promoting that people in Egypt are not ready for democracy. That's why we are being dictators with them, because they cannot deal with democracy. Quindi è importante studiare. Che sono senza studiare, la rivoluzione non si fa. This is what happened again on the 28th, on the 25th of January. Egyptians showed on this day bravery that was hidden inside them by the police. The police convinced Egyptians that you cannot unite and you cannot do anything that you want because we rule you. E praticamente la polizia per tanti anni aveva fatto convincere le persone che loro non si potevano unire, non potevano. Quindi hanno di 
abbiamo stato molto coraggio. No, This day Egyptians showed bravery that were never shown before. Like this guy, only one guy, he's in like 10 police Cioè, uno, uno, uno solo, contro tutti, voglio proprio essere... Disperati, diciamo. Disperati, però con tanto coraggio. Yes, the spirit that was shown in this revolution was amazing. So, do you think that... Uh, okay, we'll uh, make a question. Do you think that the revolution was made by also not educated people? Or how much it was important that the people were educated? Okay. This is how we, we went from the 25th of January. The number was not big in the 25th of January, because it was the first day. And people were not convinced that we can actually do this. While we were walking on the streets, like in the very first video, people were joining us from the side. Like, what, what are you doing? Where are you going? When we were asked, we are going to Tahrir Square to have our freedom. Join us. And they did join us. This is one of Egyptians' main newspapers on the 26th of January, the next day of the big demonstration. It says, big protests and huge demonstrations are taking place in Lebanon. In Lebanon? Yes. Hai capito che non è il giornale del Cairo? Che è una grande dimostrazione di giovani rivoluzionari è avvenuta in Libano, non da loro. Perché la disinformazione è, cioè non informare è importante, i media, i leader, questo è quello che noi sappiamo. 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 Questo è quello che noi This statue is for an Egyptian old leader called Sa'ad Zahloul. Yes, this, this leader, this statue is just like 50, 500 meters before Tahrir Square. And he is pointing to Tahrir Square. And people are like following him. The numbers were huge this day. This video, he was this way was the history. Yes, I This was the, one of the most brutal days in the revolution, the 28th of January. These people are praying. This is the Muslim prayer. They were praying, and the police were shooting water at them to prevent them from even praying in the street. Because in Egypt, in the Muslim world, we have five prayers per day and we have to do them at time. So this was the time for the prayer and they were praying and they were shooting water. Praticamente voi sapete che devono pregare cinque volte al giorno, stavano pregando e la polizia ha sparato alla gente che pregava. Why they were praying? They were praying because this was the time. I know, I know. Again, this is the police and this is the tear gas bomb shot in, in a low level in the body of the people. E a basso, a basso. Ma non è una bella attimosa. Sì, però il Tear gas bombs Tear non si possono sparare all'altezza tua perché ti ammazzano se vanno in testa Ma gli altri sono materiali And even they used bullet rubber bullets Proietti And they used the tiny bullets that express 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 And in the end, after all this didn't work, they used actual bullets in us. This is one of the main, uh, the people who are activists in politics and he said no to the ruling regime. This is how we did that with a guy who was 60 years old to catch him. He was sitting in the street? Yes. Okay. This, again, this is the street that I was showing. This is the statue of the Egyptian leader, Sa'ad Zalul. And this was the, the bridge leading to Tahrir Square when it was blocked. People could not pass to Tahrir Square. And this, and this is how Cairo looked behind the, 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 the bridge. And this is after we actually passed through the bridge. Yeah. This is Tahrir Square. This area with all the gas and everything. This is Tahrir Square. Again, this is Tahrir Square. 
on this day, Cairo was announced as a war area in, in the world. <laughs> yes. And this day, Cairo was announced as a war zone because of what was happening in there. Part of the buildings in Cairo were being burned by the police in order to make people afraid. Mubarak was doing like Hero. He was trying to be able to burn in Cairo like he tried to burn Rome. I get the same bridge after being passed by by the police. On this day, at the end of this day, yes. my time is up. My time is up. Yes, it does